Well, good morning, YouTube. And yes, it's another zero tolerance knife review. <laughs> Never get tired of these. I uh, hope you guys had a great weekend. And for those who watched my last vid, I just wanted to let you know um, the video cut out, you know, maybe 10 seconds uh, before it was finished. So all you missed me saying was, yes, this is my real voice. <laughs> I get asked that at, uh, at least once every video. Um, don't know how else to explain it to you. And this is, you know, what happened when I went through puberty, guys. All right, your voice uh, drops and mine dropped a lot. Um, no other explanations. <laughs> guys are asking if I use the uh, voice modulators or whatever. And, you know, then one guy said that somebody, you know, people actually do that for YouTube. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you're one of those guys, but uh, I just don't understand w why you would do that for a YouTube channel. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> let's get back into this whole uh, knife review thing. I realized uh, in all of my ZTs that I've you know, get, been getting over the last few months, uh, newer models, you know, maybe tops a year old or so, that I uh, haven't done my 0566 review, which is, I'll be honest and say that it's, you know, probably one of my favorite uh, zero tolerance knives. You know, it was definitely my first, I believe my first uh, zero tolerance knife actually. I had the regular carbon fiber um, LMAX, okay, I got it for about 150. I uh, loved that knife, it was a user for me. Um, anyway, so it was in my first video ever a couple months ago and I'd lost that playing with my son which I was very upset about, and then I grabbed the, you know, carbon fiber black wash edition, which is just a beautiful knife, and of course the M390. So let's go over these real quick. You see before you a zero tolerance. This is the new M390 version. I've done a couple videos on this. Um, when it first, first came out, I believe I had the first or second video up on it, maybe even the first, and you know, great knife, great knife. This is the one I, I fell in love with, except it was just the regular, not the black wash version. Um, I absolutely love the 0566. I, I love the 0500 series. Um, this is almost my perfect uh, size EDC knife. All right, I have been, you know, more into the 3.5s recently, but when I started off 3.25 inches, um, the ergonomics on this knife are incredible. Love it. Okay, so this is, as you said, as you guys can see, it's the black wash. What a beautiful, beautiful job they did. Alright, now I had the 0560 black wash, which is also a really, really nice knife. I sold that a while back. Um, and as you guys know, I picked up a couple more 0560s. Look at that serial number. Can you guys see that? 88. That's a very, very low serial number. Just a, a beautiful finish on this. The carbon fibers, you know, great. Showing you guys. I mean, look at that. Just an incredible looking knife. And very, very sturdy. Um, this being stainless steel does bring up the weight. And I think that's, you know, what turns guys off of this knife. Um, it's weighing 5.3 ounces for a 3.25 inch blade and that, you know, mainly being because of the stainless steel liners. If they had skeletonized these liners, I mean, this, I think, knife would be even more popular than it is. I mean, you know, bring it down to maybe four, four and three quarter ounces, maybe even, you know, four and a half ounces. All right, now this is spring assisted, okay? So you're gonna have to fight that spring on the way down, which I do not like. I do not like spring assisted knives, okay? As you guys know, I love to play with my knives and it's not a lot of fun to play with. You know, you gotta fight that torsion bar on the way down all the time. Um, the first thing I normally do with my 0566s is de-assist them. Okay, so. That's de-assisted. There's no torsion bar in this. Okay. So you just push button that and it flies right out. I like the manual feel. Okay. I like the feel of uh, 
of the knife instead of, you know, the torsion bar there. All right. You can't control the speed in which the blade flies out. All right. You push that button, it's just going to fly out same speed every time. You can push it hard, you can push it soft, it's just going to fly right out. You don't have any real control over that. Uh, some guys like it, you know, no problem. It's fast deployment. All right, and then you got to fight that torsion bar on the way down. So this one here, you know, I think it flies out very fast for a manual knife. Okay, there's no torsion bar in that. I mean, you guys tell me, what do you think? Is that coming out of there fast? All right. So, like I said, did the review on the M390 version, serial number 0257 on this one, pretty low. Great knife, carbon fiber. You got the M390 uh, blade steel, which they're probably gonna end up switching this uh, to the 204P like the rest of the uh, zero tolerance knives in the M390. So I wonder if this may be, uh, I don't know if this may be something like the 0562, where when they, you know, or the 05, or, God, these, so many numbers, guys, I'm sorry, uh, the 0620 CF, you know, as soon as they stopped making it in the M390, the value just skyrockets. All right, guys want to keep on to the M390 version, so maybe, you know, this will be one of those knives where they stop making it in the M390 and start producing it in the 204P. So go out and get one maybe sell it for $300 like they're doing the uh, 0562s all right this is a hundred no this is 220 with the m390 blade um, I do believe it's a little expensive only because it has the stainless steel liners and very very uh, small phosphor bronze washers you can't even see them um, it's really inset there very very small washers that's the one complaint I have about this knife I heard uh, some guys, you know, put in bigger washers and it, it works better, great. Um, I think I'm going to do that myself. Now, every time I look to do a video, I've only been doing videos, you know, a month and a half, two months now. Um, my boy over there at uh, Knives, Knives, Guns, and Gear, you know, he always, I guess, I don't know, maybe he has my taste, I have his taste, but he always has the, <laughs> the friggin' videos up, you know, before me or the ones I want to put up, I always look online and... If there's only maybe two or three videos, he's got one of them. So, of course, I went to look at the Black Wash Edition uh, 0566, and there he is. <laughs> but I, I think he had the G10 um, version, and I haven't seen any videos with the carbon fiber, carbon fiber version and the Black Wash. So I haven't seen any videos on that, um, the carbon fiber Black Wash. I can't remember if this is an exclusive from somewhere. You know, I order so many knives from so many different places. Um, to take that torsion bar out, guys, it's very, very easy. Um, obviously, you unscrew these um, three screws here, and then your pivot. All right, this scale right here comes off. Okay, just pops right off the liner. And what you have in there is a torsion bar, just a piece of metal that's bent that, you know, acts as the spring loader. So... You literally just take that piece of metal out, there's going to be a bunch of gunk in there, um, grease and stuff, and you just screw it back on. And there you go, you have a manual flipper. And that is because of the detent. Okay, as you know, on a lot of Kershaw knives, you can't um, de-assist them because they don't have that detent. So having the detent there allows you to de-assist it and it not go anywhere. Okay. Strong detent. All right, you gotta definitely push button that. Okay, so, a couple of those bad boys. Let me show you an example. Dun, dun, dun. My favorite knife in the world. Probably my most expensive. Oh wait, no. Just a, a cryo. <laughs> I throw this uh, in my, I have a little um, box I keep in my car. Obviously a, a get home bag as well, but this is, you know. This is just a box I keep in my car with some, you know, dryer lint and my favorite flashlight to carry every day, my, uh, you know, my stream light, red big one here, and some duct tape, dryer lint, lighter, some ammo, candles, whatever, batteries. So I keep this little Kershaw right in here. Okay, fits perfectly. But anyway, enough about that stupid box. So, 
As you guys know, this is a Hinderer design, as you see there. This is a user. Okay, got a couple of these. This is the G10 model. China. Uh oh. All right, so as you can see, the design. This is just me practicing on my uh, lanyard loops, to be honest with you. I did that a couple, maybe a year ago, I don't even know. All right, so you can see the similarities kind of in, you know, the Hinderer design knives, um, especially with the pocket clip here being the same. All right, just with the Kershaw logo. So you can see a lot of the similarities, your lock bar stabilizer there, you know, your cutout, your relief here for your lock bar, but no detent. Okay, so I didn't know that when I first got this knife, um, you know, a while back now. Tried to de-assist it, and it just fell right out. You know, it would fall right out. Okay, so you cannot de-assist the cryo. Okay, so this is a great, you know, great little knife. I throw it in a box. I have a couple more. I throw in some bags, some bug-out bags or whatever, you know. You never know when you need a small folder. All right, so let's get this out of here. Okay. Let's do some size comparisons to other well-known ZTs here. Alright, this is the big boy. It's the, well, not as big as the 0452, but 3.75 inches. Okay, as you guys know, this is one of mine. I have a couple. Um, Alright, so this is going to weigh in at about 6 ounces. Okay, and this is 3.75, 3.25. Just keep in mind, okay? So almost six ounces, this is 5.3 ounces, and your ever popular 0562, okay, which is obviously a bigger knife, um, 3.5 inch blade there. The thickness on these are very similar, 0.44 and 0.46 I believe, so thickness wise they're actually pretty thin knives for the, uh, well especially for the 0562 here, um, pretty thin knives. Okay, great for carry, great for EDC. The 0562 being about, what, half, uh, 0.55, I think. Definitely over half an inch there thick. Okay, so that's your comparison there. Okay, and then your 0562, of course. Okay, so very similar design in, in these two especially. Okay, if you guys can see that. Now this does not have any kind of stainless steel lock bar insert, obviously, because it's a stainless steel liner, okay? Deep carry pocket clip, I love the pocket clips, okay? Great clip on this. Alright, like the pocket clip on the 0560 as well. What else can you say about this knife that hasn't been said in many videos? Alright, lanyard loop, great. Okay, so you can make a decision if you want to run it manual, you know, if you want to take out that torsion bar and you want to try it yourself. Um, it's an easy fix, and it's an easy fix if you just want to put it back in there and you don't like the feel of the manual flipper. Okay, perfectly centered. Just a, a great all-around knife, $140, $150. Um, if I had to do it again, I bought two of the M390s. I sold one of them. I'm just going to keep this one in the uh, case there. If I had to buy another 0566, it'd be the LMAX version all day. All right, 140, 150 bucks. You can't beat this knife. Well, you can, but <laughs> a lot of knives out there. Thumb stud deployment works great. Okay. Although I do like it a lot better. A lot better. There's just this like uh, built up boom, you know, as soon as that flies out. And this I can control a lot better. So, uh, I'm not sure what else I'm going to say here, boys. Alright, just another ZT review. Never saw a carbon fiber uh, black wash one. Um, you know, just wanted to throw it up there. I love this knife. I really do. Okay, you got your 0620. Alright, so, I mean, this, the sizing, look at the sizing on these. I don't know if you guys can see. Okay. I mean, almost. <laughs> 3.75, 3.6, 3.5, 3.25. <laughs> All right. This is the LMAX um, 0562, which is no slouch either. Okay, I love the stone washing. You know, love the grind lines on the uh, higher end models, as you guys know. But anyway, the 0566. Nothing new, just thought I'd throw it up. Couldn't leave this bad boy out. 
Uh, I'm not carrying this one, so that's why it's still assisted. And, you know, serial number 88 is going to go up <laughs> a lot more than that. So, anyway, there you go. ZT0566 Carbon Fiber Black Wash. All right, Hinderer Design, excellent knife. Um, all right, so God bless. Enjoy the rest of your day, boys.